Hello friends and welcome to another video. I want to share with you my latest composition. This is an acoustic guitar track and let's just get right into the computer so I can show you what I've done here. Now, one thing to take in consideration here, it's not done. When I share these videos, I'm usually already done, I'm finished, but I can't contain myself and I really want to share with you what I've done here. Okay, so I don't have anything in the master bus. I usually have a mastering uh, plugin, uh, which is, you know, just to make sure that the track is, is finished, but I'm not done. I'm still working on some melodies, but I want to share with you what I got here. So let's just listen to this and then I'll dissect a little bit about what's happening in this track. Okay, so here we go. You get the idea. Now, this is an acoustic track. It turned out to be more cinematic than what I expected. All right. So this track started with this plugin. So it started with this particular riff, all right? And that's how I build a foundation for this track. This is a great plugin, by the way. Uh, in fact, I use this plugin to show you how you can compose a full acoustic guitar track using just this type of plugins, okay, in my acoustic course. Shameless plug as well. But uh, this is something that I use and I love this plugin, okay? You can compose a full acoustic guitar track using just this plugin. This is exactly what I share with you. And I have done uh, <laughs> music tracks using just this plugin, an acoustic track, okay? You can't tell if it's an acoustic guitar or if it's a real guitar or what is it, okay? However, for this particular track, I wanted to blend the two. And it turned out to be very moody. It turned out to be very cinematic, at least to my taste. I usually do compose, uh, when I compose acoustic guitar music, I usually do it a little bit more happy, more, more inspirational, if you will. If you see the title, it says acoustic inspirational. Uh, but it turned out to be a little bit more moody than I expected it. Uh, the day that I composed that track, it was a rainy day here in Greece, which is very rare. Uh, I live in sunny Greece, so, but it was a very rainy day. I mean, it was a storm, actually. So I don't know if that affected my writing process, but that's what I'm using as a starting point. Uh, I'm using, again, the same plugin here, just differently, uh, the same sounds. So I started like this. Okay, so nothing fancy there, but then what I do is that I build a track. I just want to dissect very quickly what I got here. Let me just lock myself in a loop. Uh, so then I use, again, the same plugin using some uh, harmonics. In the beginning, it's just this, as you heard in the intro. And yet after that, it's just a matter of stacking some guitar parts. So I can't contain myself, so I started to write guitar tracks on top of that. I'm playing very slow, very low in volume, just literally touching the strings, okay? Another one. And another one. So I'm starting to stack up some guitars and then more. Oh, this is like a rhythmic guitar. So for example. Thank you. 
So I love those sounds. And then there's this one. Very subtle. Then I double it up, obviously. So all of this with the, the VST sounds amazing. Okay, so I'm stacking up guitar sounds like that as I go along. Oh, I'm using an Ebo. I love Ebo. I love the Ebo. I double them up. I do two of those. Right? Uh, the piano. Some percussion. My bass. I got some strings. Because it was something very moody to me, I wanted to make it cinematic. And I let the music tell me where it goes, okay? I don't force it too much. I, I like to let the music tell me what it needs. So this is what I did with this track. I'm like, hey, if it's gonna be a moody cinematic track on a rainy day, so be it. And I tried to own that, okay? And then some drums. I was not gonna put drums. But then I said to myself, maybe I can do some different versions of it. I can do like a bed version. I can do no drums version. I can do different uh, versions of this track. But the original track, I felt like it needed some movement, right? So I put these drums. Again, these drums, they come with logics. Nothing special here. So, so that's that. That's the track, really. I'm still working on some melodies I'm not really sure about. I mean, I like this melody here. <laughs> you can hear some noises in the background. It, it, it's not noises, but it's just like the finger and the guitar. I love that aspect of making music like that, like just a microphone and a real acoustic instrument where you can hear even the breathing and, or, and the, the movements of the strings. And I just love that. You know, if you're new to this and you would like to learn about music licensing and how to earn money with your music, download my free guide link in the description. Uh, this is a track that is not finished, it's not done, but I just wanted to share it here with you. Uh, I gotta confess, I haven't done much acoustic guitar work lately, so I'm really uh, getting back into it. I'm going back to my roots of just a microphone and acoustic guitar. And hey, some VSTs, why not? Uh, because I like to use whatever tools I have available to this. And, and I wanna show you how you can do the same thing, how you can compose um, acoustic guitar music, even if you're not a guitar player yourself, okay? And I have done videos about this, and like I said to you, in my course, uh, the acoustic course that I have, which is all about acoustic work like this one for TV and film, again, another shameless plug, uh, I do this. I not only teach you how to make an acoustic guitar track from scratch, playing the guitar, so it is for guitar players, but I also have a lesson there where I'm teaching you how to use just VSTs and how you can compose a full-blown acoustic track using just VSTs like this one, which are very affordable. You just need to know how to use them uh, to your advantage, okay? Now, this is it for now. I'm gonna share more about this type of music that I'm composing. And, you know, again, I would like to learn about your style. What type of music do you write in? Even if you're a beginner or if you're a complete, um, you know, newbie to this and you're just looking to, to start composing music, leave it in the comment below. And even if you have experience with stock music licensing and you already write in a particular style, leave it in the comment section as well. I would like to learn. I'm going back to my roots and I'm going to be sharing more about this, about how I make music and uh, keep things simple. Simplicity is the name of the game when it comes down to stock music. Thank you so much for all the love and support, my friend. I'll see you in another video.